In a normal year, our summer would be filled with family vacations and road trips. Only there is nothing normal about this year, which is why we are so grateful that Kelloland on the Road host Mike Huther is still hitting the road to bring you great inspirational stories from around Kelloland. He's joining us here in the studio today to give us a sneak peek at next Tuesday, Kelloland on the Road show, and talk a little inside baseball about what he and photographer Taylor Yoakum discovered during their journey. Welcome, Mike. I'm excited to hear about the upcoming Brittany, stories. thank you. And again, hey, not only just me, but yes, Taylor. Taylor, And yes. the Kello team. I mean, we're not giving up on this stuff. We, uh, we're staying positive, staying motivated. We're going to find great inspirational stories, and we're bringing them to TV, and, and it's a ratings hit. And I'm just so thankful to everybody who, uh, who loves our show. And we need those positive, inspirational stories, especially during a time like this right now. Well, I thought we needed them even way back when, but yes, certainly very now true. we definitely need them. And and uh, it's really showing. Um, I can't go anywhere with somebody saying, hey, Mike, thank you. Keep it going. In fact, they want us to do it now every week, but uh, uh, no, not going to happen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about, we're going to get a little behind the scenes. Let's talk thank about you. the first destination, Webster. Not everybody can uh, can travel to you know these museums that are all over our great our great area. But Taylor and I did. We went to Webster, and folks, I'm telling you, this is what I'll call the Smithsonian Institute of South Dakota. So much to see, so unbelievably organized, clean, um, and, and something for everybody. And I mean it. There is something for everybody. And so get in that car, bring your family and you will enjoy what they have there in Webster, South Dakota. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful uh, place to be. So when you went there, did you have an idea of what story you were looking for? Did you just show up in the town and say, I'm looking for something to talk about? Actually, I was referred this story by the, the museum itself. And I thought, you know, um, at first I said, nah, I'm not gonna do it. But then I'm going, you know what? We're, kind of, we're all kind of stuck in our homes a little bit. So why not give everybody kind of their own virtual tour of the museum, and that's what Taylor and I attempt to do. And and uh, uh, someday, though, you all got to go. And when you see those big yellow open signs uh, right outside of Webster, get into that museum and go check it out. It's it's something for everybody, including a giant hairball. A giant hairball. <laughs> oh my God. So when you're talking giant, what do you mean giant? A uh, big, uh, just a big old hairball, about 28 inches. Wow. And uh, Oh. And, you know, that was just funny, but there's so much to see. And so uh, just get there and, and enjoy it. We got a little sneak peek, too, by looking at the video that yes. you were sharing from there. And there's so many different buildings there yeah. to look at. Did you have a favorite? I did. Uh, the old jailhouse. Uh, they have an old jailhouse from the olden days. And, in fact, they have a jail cell that I actually went into and just kind of gave a perspective. Oh, my gosh, to go back in the olden days. If you got in trouble, that's where you went. And so... Uh, not only was it my favorite, but they also said it's kind of the kid's favorite, too. And then you jumped back in the car? We did. And you went to DeSmet. We went to DeSmet. And, folks, it's a powerful story. Um, this is a story about a family who traveled all the way from the Philippines uh, to make their life not in the big city of Boston or not in the big city in New York City. They ended up in DeSmet, South Dakota. And what a difference they're making uh, they're both doctors uh, with their adopted son, uh, Willem. And uh, when I called the city leaders of DeSmit, they first said, Mike, you got to do the story on Willem, Willem Lim. Well, then as I, uh, he's powerful, but then as I got to know their entire family story, it evolved. And uh, the Lim family is powerful. And folks, I don't want to give it all away, but DeSmit, I'm so dang proud of DeSmit. They have adopted that family in such a glorious way. And it just, uh, I think it's a, something that we can all learn from. What the Smith is doing, we can do all over the country, all over the state, uh, and certainly in every small town uh, uh, around Kellen. Yeah, so we're really going to get an inside look at what this town is like and how they are a community. It's wonderful. They, uh, they're making a difference. Everybody, uh, regardless of where you're from, the color of your skin, or in William's case, kind of one of the limitations that he has that you'll have to see to, to find out about. And he has a special relationship, too, with some of his schoolmates. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Willem is, uh, I mean, he's just a powerful young man. Um, and he is an example for every student, not only in DeSmit, but uh, uh, when you see the show, you'll see why. And, and uh, the principal of the school, the superintendent of the school, 
she couldn't say enough good things about him. And uh, again, uh, everybody in the Smith is a proud bulldog, but uh, Willem uh, is pretty dang proud, uh, and, and he resonates it in a big, big way. And now we get to talk some baseball. Oh, folks, you got to tune in for this. You got to tune in. I don't care what age you are, but this is a great story about this group of uh, baseball players who in their 50s decided to go back and play baseball again. Well, now guess what? Many of them are in their 80s. Oh, my gosh, that's amazing. And they're still playing baseball. And not only are they playing, they are winning. They are winning national championships. The Rushmores have won 10 national championships. And uh, uh, they're ready to defend their title this year. And they will be defending their title. So you got to see this. I got so motivated. I'm not in my 80s. Uh, don't say anything. Uh, <laughs> not in my 80s. But I was so motivated by what, uh, by what these, these young men did that I'm getting the itch to go back and play again, too. I'm looking at this video, too, like they are going hardcore. They are running. They are running. They feel. They hit. They are an inspiration in so many ways, not only for people in Kelloland, but all across the country. Uh, when these men take the field, uh, people notice in a really, really positive way. And, and uh, so, yeah, you got to see this, Kelloland. You got to. You, you it's, it's amazing stuff. And it just shows how, you know, we can stay young regardless of our age. Um, and uh, these, these men show it in, in big, big ways. So when sitting down and talking to them and about this, you know, baseball, but it's also healthy to be working out, especially as you get older. So what did they say they do to stay in shape and when they're off season? I'm telling you, these are young bucks. They look good. I mean, there's no, there's no big beer, beer bellies or anything like that. They really look good. Um, they, I mean, they, they, they work out. Uh, they're very, very active. One of the guys that you're going to meet, uh, he is a um, uh, kind of a triathlete. Uh, he does all this incredible stuff. And then, yeah, on the side, hits, hits 500 in baseball. And what that means, folks, is that every time he gets up to bat, uh, he'll get a hit every other time he's up to bat. That's really, really good in baseball. Wow. And he's hitting 500. Great stuff. So we can really learn a lot from these gentlemen then. <laughs> yes. Well, all the stories, Kelland, that we put on on the road, you can all learn something from. And that's one of the big reasons why we do it. Um, there's a lesson in every darn story that we bring to on the road on Kelland. And, and so bring your families, bring your friends. I don't care, bring your enemies, but have them watch on the road because it's, it's changing the world in a positive way. Yeah. I love it. Thanks, Mike, for Thank coming you. in and telling us what's coming I up. I love our colors. Hey, yeah. it's summertime, Kelland. Let's it have some is, fun. It is, and I love it. In our continuing effort to help us all find some positive in our world, you can catch this month's episode of Kelland on the Road next Tuesday night. You can catch the entire June episode with all three complete stories next Tuesday night at 6.30 p.m. Central Time, 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time, right here on your Kelland station.